How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, it's been around two years since the video launched uh, their more affordable, budget-friendly GTX 1060 graphics cards, uh, both the 3 gig and the 6 gig versions. I pretty much own both of them. They're awesome cards, especially for the price. But how do they stack up here now in 2019? Because we already saw some of NVIDIA's newer RTX cards being released along with the RTX 2060 but that already is quite expensive, so I can't really classify that as more of an affordable budget card. But there's rumors of a new GTX 1660 Ti coming out, a weird name, so maybe that'll be able to actually replace these cards, but that also depends on how much it's actually going to cost. So in this video, I wanted to benchmark both the 3 gig and the 6 gig GTX 1060s against each other and see if they're actually still worth it in a 2019 if you wanted to buy one now. If you already own one, they're still pretty decent cards. But now, of course, being that they're already two years old, you can get them new if you wanted to, or you can pick them up second hand for a much better price. Pricing wise, which I looked in now, I saw that the 3 gig was ranging from $180 to $260 or 2,900 Rand to 5,000 Rand, while the 6 gig was ranging from around $200 to $370 and 4,200 Rand to 6,600 Rand. So that is new. What about second hand? Well, mostly here in South Africa, I saw that they were ranging between 2,500 Rand to 3,500 Rand. And then on eBay for the US market, it looked like they were ranging between $140 to $250. And that was the max one for the 6 gig equivalents. So pricing for these GPUs didn't really go down much new wise compared to when I actually picked up my 1060 cards. So that is a bit of a bummer. Uh, second hand wise, they're a lot cheaper. You can get them for next to nothing these days. Uh, that's why I haven't really even sold my cards because I'm not gonna get anything for them. So second hand, it's pretty good to pick one up. Now, how do they actually perform? So firstly, the differences be again between the 3 gig and the 6 gig because it's not only just the VRAM difference. They do also differ in CUDA cores with the 3 gig having 1,152 CUDA cores and the 6 gig at 1,280 CUDA cores. So when getting into the benchmarks, we will see that some games prefer more VRAM, which the 1060 of course will be much better in and some games prefer a more CUDA cores or higher CUDA core speeds which again the 1060 will be faster in but we'll see actually how much. Also just some random information you guys wanted to know. Uh, you don't only get these two cores but well, the brands uh, but you do get like the 3 gig and the 6 gig which is the standard ones then you also get a 5 gig version for the Asian like gaming cafe market. You can't really buy them maybe on like AliExpress or so on and then you also get one with a GDDR5X memory compared to the standard GDDR5 so that's just some information I want to give you guys but now let us get into how these cards actually perform and should you rather pay a bit more and get the 6 gig versus the 3 gig version
Sing to your heart to find you. Open up your eyes till you're blinded by the lies. So you can see what you do. Christmas every time we start. So from the benchmarks, we can see that the six gig model is around five to 20% faster. And the 20% is mostly aware that VRAM uh, bottleneck comes in where most of the games, they don't really use more than three gigs. Uh, they use around like 2.2 to around 2.8 around there. But there was some of the games like uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, PUBG and so on that did want just a tiny bit more than 3 gigs. Shadow of the Tomb Raider did go up to 5 gigs of VRAM so that was also quite a bit higher but it was also on a 1440p. So that is mostly where we saw the bigger differences where the VRAM just bottled in completely. So then just in conclusion, the difference between these cards aren't really that massive. If you just looking for it like playing a Fortnite or CSGO or so on, the 6 gig is a plenty and you'll be able to play AAA titles as well. Probably not on like max 1440p, but 1080p that's honestly not going to be a problem. And depending on the pricing where you can pick up the cards, new they're a bit pricey but second hand they're gonna be completely fine and you'll be able to pick up six gigs again for really affordable even sometimes even the exact same price as three gig models so it's a no-brainer go for the six gig so differences isn't really that great but then we're going to have to see actually how that new gtx 1660 ti compares to these depending on the price again of course because that one is going to have some of the specs we've seen six gigs as well of gddr5x and then cuda cores i can't really remember exactly but it's going to be faster so hopefully that card is going to be around 20 to around 35 percent faster than the six gig equivalent of the 1060s because otherwise it's not going to be really be worth it and depending on the price as well, because so far it looks like it's going to cost $250, which is, it is a bit pricey. It's only $50 less than uh, the RTX 2060. And that card is already hell expensive here in South Africa, being not budget at all. So pricing for the GTX 1660 Ti is probably going to start around the 6,000 to 7,000 Rand. So starting out, it's honestly not going to be cheaper than that so might not be the best car to go for i'd rather pick up a gtx 1060 60 you know like a su strix because that's kind of the top of the range car pick that up second hand for 3000 rand that's honestly not bad so that is pretty much it for our benchmark these cards are still perfect to use if you can pick them up for relatively affordable if you pay new it's a bit of a bit of a price i'd rather save the money and then buy a gtx 1660 ti it's a weird name that may rather just go for that even though it's going to be a bit more expensive so that is pretty much it if you guys still own one of these gtx 1060 cards let me know down in the comments below I still, I still use them and they're still a baller. So let me know down in the comments how you like your 1060 or do you want to upgrade it to the GTX 1660 Ti? It's stupid. But yeah, let me know down there. If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. If you guys want me to compare these cards to the RX equivalent AMD cards, let me know down there as well and I'll try to uh, arrange that. But thanks for watching guys and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys.